realtiesfishing.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this fly right here uh, to chase a mackerel in the bay. Really easy to make, really simple. Uh, it takes about two minutes to make once you get the hang of it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it pretty good there. Really simple to do with the things you have already around the house. First off, you're going to need a white or this is like a pearlish color. Um, balloon line. This is the one that you just tie to the balloons. You're going to want like a 6-0, 5-0, hook. Some clear nail polish. Some electrical tape. Some hot glue. A uh, hot glue gun. A pair of scissors. And if you have it, some little stick on eyes. The eyes are not necessary, but they do make the lure look uh, really nice. So I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. Okay, so first things first, we're going to want to get about six to eight inches of your line. I'm going to cut one. Two. Three. Four. You get four little strips. Then you're going to take your hook. First, start off wrapping the hook nice and tight. You want to make sure that the first few wraps are tight so that it won't spin. Next, we're going to get the string and right around the middle of it. I'm going to put it on the hook like this and we're going to wrap that. So wrap that nice and tight. Once you wrap that piece, I'm going to do the same thing to the next one. Just keep adding them. Just like that. So now we have these four pieces on. Four out the front. Four coming out the back. What we're going to do is now we're going to fold these back, fold this back, as so. Hold them tight, and then we're going to go nice and tight around the shank again. Always make sure that the electrical tape is being put on nice and tightly to avoid spin. Alrighty, once we have that, we can go ahead and put this piece. The more wraps you do around the shank, the heavier it'll be and typically it'll allow you to cast it a little bit further. So now we have our electrical tape. If you're not happy with where these end up, you can always um, adjust it by moving it. Uh, it should be able to still slide. And that's where the nail polish comes in. So now that we have it like this, we're going to measure about three inches or so. Cut all our hairs off at an angle. Just to give it a nice little um, 
finish touch and those off to the side now we're ready to put the eyes on So far, so good. Now we're going to um, apply the hot glue. And then all we have to do is seal it off with some nail polish and we'll be done. I'll show you that step now. Alright, now that we have the hot glue gun ready to roll, we're going to apply it to the top part from one side to the next. And then quickly go to the bottom side. And apply it there. So what you'll have is something that looks like this. All covered. Spin it a few times. I like to spin it just to get everything flowing while it cools off. The head of the fly has cooled off. We're going to take some nail polish and simply cover the entire head of the fly with the clear And just make sure to get the part that touches the eye of the shank. And then just peel back these. And add a little drop of the nail polish. Just so it's touching the shank. And that'll seal it in place once it dries up. And once it's done, you'll have one nice macro fly alrighty guys so once it's done drying um, you'll notice that they come out um, it comes out nice and hard it takes about 20 minutes for it to dry fully uh, it really depends on the nail polish that you buy uh, hard as nails is probably one of the best ones you can buy um, but once it's done drying you'll notice that it won't spin anymore it's on there pretty tight and they're very easy to make this goes for about a dollar at the dollar store it comes in a bunch of colors so you can mess around with it for example, this one I put some green mylar on it, a couple less hairs, a little bit skinnier body. This one's a little bigger. Just mess around with it, see what you like. And the cool part about this is that you don't have to use it only on a fly rod. We uh, typically use this on a spinning reel. We put a bullet head weight, the ones you typically use for bass fishing on a worm. We put that on the line before tying it and we cast it out we cast it out about 20 30 yards behind the boat and just zip it in and the macro love them um, play around with it uh, give us some feedback on our youtube page uh, let us know how it went for you guys hope it helps hope somebody does it and likes the idea uh, make sure to go check out our website and subscribe thank you